Hey everyone, Steve Jackson from Imprintables Warehouse here again, and I've got another tutorial here on Illustrator and working with cut lines. As you can see, I've got a file in here that's a pretty simple one with just a single color design, and then the next one we're going to work with is a little bit more difficult. Um, this one has various items within it, and we have some graphics in here that have an outline on it. We're going to show you how to work with that. And then the last one is even more complex. It has a lot of different objects in there and a lot of things going on. But I'm going to show you the difference between these and how to work with them and how to get things set up. In the previous video I did, I showed how to set up the color swatches within Illustrator for Roland VersaWorks. And I have them both over here. If I expand that out, I've got my VersaWorks and my Roland Color System library. And then I can close that back down again and make it nice and neat over here. So this first design here, it's a pretty simple, straightforward design, single color, going to be CAD cut through the VersaCam if you wanted to, or you could add some more design elements to it. In this one, what I'll simply do is what I've done in other videos for Illustrator. I'm going to take the entire artwork and drag it down to this little icon right here. That's going to create a new layer, but when I drag the layer down there and, and drop it on that right there, it makes a copy of it. So what I'm going to do is take the original layer and lock that one. That's the little lock icon right there. And then this top layer here that we're working on, I don't need the black box, so I'm going to delete that. And there's still the black box underneath. If I take that away and, and remove the visibility of it, you'll see that it's gone from there. So now with the rest of it, I'll select all the items in here, and I'm going to use my Unite tool in the Pathfinder tool for Illustrator. When I click on that, it unites everything together, and it's one object in there, and I've got lines that I can work with around it. So I could change the color of this to kind of give you guys a, an idea of what we're talking about here. And we'll make it this red color just so you can see it on the screen. Oh, I went gray, I'm sorry. And you can see that that's the item right in there. I could vary it so you can see the whole object there. But we're going to give that no color there, and we'll switch to our outline. We'll go to the Roland VersaWorks palette, and I'm going to click on for the outline right there and you can see it's pretty thick all around this so we need to change our stroke on that so let's uh let's put that guy back and we'll come up to the stroke and take it down to maybe 0.25 point now when i zoom in on this you can see my cut line is exactly where i need it all the way around the graphic so that one's pretty simple and straightforward we've got the the cut line around it but that that was an easy graphic to work with let's go on to the second one that we have here this corvus well, with the Corvus one, there's a couple of different things that are causing some issues with it. Let's do that same method as before, and I'll show you what happens and, and what issue appears. So we're going to take this layer here. I'm going to bring it down and make a copy of it. I'll lock my initial one right there. And on the, the white copy right there, I, again, I don't need the black box around it, so I'll delete that. And I'll select everything else right here. Let me zoom back in so you can see it. Actually, we go this way so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'll do my, my Pathfinder Unite, and that unites it all together there. But I still have that white outline. So if I come up here and give it no fill, and then change my outline right there, and go to Roland VersaWorks one, and choose the outline color. Now if I zoom in on this guy, you'll see that my cut line went on the inside. Because that white line right there is actually a stroke. It's an outline color, and they used a stroke in that portion of it. If we toggle this layer off, and we'll, we'll come to this layer here and see if we can find it in there. Uh, maybe I can grab it this way. I'll, I'll move this out of the way and take this one here. Let's see what we've got. We'll be able to find it here eventually. There we go. I can see that one there. It has a white stroke on it right there. If I were to give that uh, no, nothing on the stroke, you'd see it goes away. But that's not what we want. So we're going to put this back and put that one back right there. Did a little bit of undo. And we'll bring that layer back up. We're going to lock it. And we'll go to the first layer we had right there. I'm actually going to delete this one because it doesn't really serve a purpose for us right now. I, I kind of went too far. So we'll take it down to the trash can and delete it. And then we'll unlock this layer and go back just like we did in the first step with this one. We'll make a copy of that layer. And I'll lock the original one. I don't want the black background to be involved in this, so I'll delete that. And then let's zoom out a little bit. I can collapse this here. We don't need that clouding up our vision. And again, I'll select everything. I can hit Control A on the keyboard and select everything. And what I'm going to do now, since I can see that those lines extend past, that, that's a kind of key thing to show you that 
you've got an outline that's not quite being selected with the rest of it. It's extending past. So what I'll do instead of doing the Unite right away is I'll come up here and go to Object, Expand, and I want it to expand the fill and the stroke to the outside there. So when I hit OK on this one, you'll see it expanded all the way out on everything, and I've got everything selected there. Now when I come over and do my Unite, it's one piece, and it goes all the way around the outside of everything. So now I can go in and get my fill and give it no color, go to my outline, and again, roll in VersaWorks, select my outline color, we'll drop that back in. And if I zoom in on this here now, we can see that our line's right there. I can take it down to 0.25 point and see it's right on the edge of everything. So it's kind of a, oop, zoomed in a little too much there. Sorry about that, guys. And you can see it's right on the edge, right where we wanted it on everything with that. Now I could add a bleed zone to this. I could make a copy of this one right here. And when I make a copy of that outline portion there, I could go to Edit and Copy, which is Control C. And then Control F is Paste in Front or Paste in Back. Let's do, uh, we'll do Copy. And then we're going to Edit and Paste uh, in Place. I want it right on top of that. And I can move the layer down too. Because eventually I'm going to have it down in its own layer. Um, but that, that one that's below right there, let's change the color of that because the, the bleed zone on this is a little bit white. But if it was some other color, I'd want it uh, to have a bleed zone that would correspond with that outside color. So on this, we'll take the outline color and we're going to change that to white. And um, we're going to make it a bigger stroke width. So we'll take it to something like a four point. And let's zoom in on that a little bit there. And we need to arrange that to the back. So we'll take that and um, object, arrange, and we'll send it to the back. And then we're going to unlock the other one because it's behind everything right now. But you can see in that layer, it's to the back of that layer and it's around that. But it's extending into the graphic a bit too much. So I need to actually take this guy right here and we'll make it its own layer. Um, I would actually have to copy this to a, another layer. I, I made a mistake there. So that's good that we did that. So let's, uh, let's delete these guys. Let's delete at least one of them. We'll take that and delete that. Wrong one. So it's good that you guys can see me making some mistakes here. We'll delete that guy there, and we'll take this guy here, and we'll delete it. We'll take our white copy, make that into a new layer, and that one will arrange down below the other one here. And what we want to do with this is I'll make it the white color that we were talking about. Uh, it is a white, uh, not quite yet, so we'll drop this down. That's a whole bunch of compound paths there to make that into it. And we're going to give that a white color on that. So now that whole group there should be white. Select it. And we'll change it to white. I made a mistake there. So now that's all white right there, but it's still in front of or behind this piece here. So I'd have to take this guy here on the, the group that's there, and we will object, and we're going to arrange, and we'll send it to the back. And it's to the back of that group, but I think I actually have to take it and, and move it down. So I'd have to take that guy and move it all the way down behind everything else. So we'll take this, and I think I can move it to another layer. So we'll take a look right here. Um, new layer. We'll make a new layer with that. We can call that layer 4, that's fine. And then layer 4 right there, that portion, we can make it down below. So a little bit of adjustment on it, and it still didn't work out the way I wanted to, but visually it, it should be behind that. In all reality, we're not going to print this black here, so I could delete this item. And then if I were to put a new box on here, we'll go to layer 4 that's behind it. And we'll make a new square that goes behind everything. You'll be able to see it because it is set up correctly. It's just not showing on the screen. Oh, cancel. And let's make a, a square here that's going to go underneath everything. And that should be in layer four. Good, it's black. And this group here, what's going on? We don't have anything showing up. So obviously I made a little mistake there. Hopefully that... Uh, I can figure that one out and I'll put it into a, another video. I'm not quite perfect with Illustrator yet here. But we would put a bleed zone around this or you could offset the path inward a little bit. So let's take a look at the last example here. We've got this very involved graphic here with all the different objects and items within it. 
So this one, it doesn't have anything that has an outline on it because we, we could see that in the last one how it would do that. So this one, what I need to do is select, we'll go back to our pick tool there, we'll select that black portion there um, after we make a copy. So we need to make a copy of it first. We'll go and add a new layer, lock the first layer, and this outer portion here, I just need to delete that because I don't need that within this entire thing. And now when I hit Control A to select all, you can see it's just got the graphic. If I had, uh, I'll do Control Z a couple times here. And yep, we've got that one there. If I hit Control A with the the black background on there, it's still got that selected, which I don't want to do. And you can see it highlighted right there that it's selected on it. So we want to get rid of just that black background on this one. We do that, deleted it, I selected it and deleted it, Control A, and I can see it's just got the graphic there. Now this one, because it doesn't have any strokes, it's kind of like the first one, where we can do the Unite, and when I click on that, you can see that it created this object in here that has a black interior, and then it's got the line going around it, which has no color. So we're gonna go ahead and take that interior color, give it nothing, the exterior color, and then we'll come to Roland VersaWorks again, and select our, our cut contour. And I can drop that down in, in my stroke width, maybe to a .25 or so. I'll hide this one in here again. And when we zoom in on this guy, we'll see our cut line right around the edge of the outside. And that, that was a black portion of the wing right there. And you, you've got, uh, we'll drag this around. You can see the cut lines right where we want it, right around the edge, all the way around the graphic. So pretty, uh, pretty fast and easy way to set things up within Illustrator. I've got a little spot right here where it had a stroke and I could work with that and expand it all. So I do have a little bit of a stroke there. So let's try this. Let's go back, control zero, which uh, zooms it back out to full frame. And we'll control Z this a couple times or edit, undo apply swatch, edit, undo none, edit, undo add. Okay. And that was clear. Okay. so. We've got, we would do that expand again in this one. So we'll get rid of the outer portion. So we did find a small spot where there was a stroke. Now it's select all, and then I can go to object, expand, and I want the fill and the stroke, hit okay. And now it expands everything, all those stroke lines and everything, now it's its own objects. And when I unite everything, now in that area here where it had that little bit, it won't be cutting into the graphic at all. So we'll give it no fill. Again, for the outline, roll in VersaWorks, give it to the color of uh, the VersaWorks cut contour color, that pinkish one that we want, 0.25, and let's zoom in a little bit in that same area there and see if we see anything in here. Now it really is on the outside, and right in here, I believe it was, that we saw it kind of cut in just a tad. It's not cutting in at all because it's, it, it converted that outline there to an object and expanded it out basically so that it's not cutting into anything. So now that cut line really is on the exact outside of the entire graphic and it's ready to save as an EPS and send over to VersaWorks for print and cut. So hopefully this was helpful to you. I'll turn off this layer so you can see just our cut line. And there you see all the cut line all the way around everything. So hopefully the, the video helped you guys out and answered a few questions for you. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.